This is Edge Router X router, and it has a CPU that's um, different than regular single core CPU. This is a dual core, and on the JTAG chain, there are five JTAG devices. So uh, being able to JTAG the device takes a little bit of challenge. So Unink NT and USB JTAG NT is able to solve this issue, and using the software is quite easy as as others just sa sacrifice a little bit of speed. So in order to open this router, uh, you take out the two screws on the back and then slide out. Like so. So this is how small it is and I already saw the JTAG pin on it. So I have a question people ask me, you know, if you were using Ulink NT, how to, do you connect the JTAG pins? I'm going to use this as an example, uh, this router as an example, how to connect the SMIPS JTAG pin out, okay? So there is a little arrow here pointing to this side, this pin is pin 1 and pin 3 and so on. So I'm going to make a drawing how this is connected. So. But on the paper, if if the router is put like this, so pin one will be here, two, one, one, three, five, uh, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, two. For MIPS JTAG, uh, this is a one, this is a two, this is a three, this is a four, and so on. So these pins up to here are grounded. And this pin, the name of it is called TRST, and this is TDI, and this is TDO, this is TMS, and this is TCK, which is 13579, and this is a reset. So this pin is optional for JTAG, you probably uh, do not connect. So sometimes you see some routers has only 10 pins JTAG, which they have this removed, so this has 10, and some router have uh, 12, which they put on here. The rest pins are for debug only, and we are not used for pro programming. So let's say what we can do with the Ulink NT and how this color working, okay? On the Ulink side, the other side here, uh, we, we have this diagram. Okay, diagram here is 3.3 volt and ground, and I/O, the rest are I/O, I/Os, and the pins. So, if you remove this adapter and you flip over, this is how the diagram I'm printed in here. Okay, so that means if I zero will be pin ten, it will be on this pin. Now on the cable here, the order will be on top of two bottom. Well, this will be z uh, this will be one. 2, 3, 4, and to 10. So the drawing for, for this I.O. map here will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this is ground. OK, so we need to connect this pin to here, which means this pin will be pin 2. On here, it will be pin 2. This white on this Ulink NT will be ground. So we, we can connect any of the two pins. Let's say I want to connect to the pin 2 here as well. So now this IO0 will be my TDI. This will be TDO. This will be TCK. This will be TMS. And this is TRST. This will be reset. Okay, so now let's say I want to connect the TDI and on the Ulink here is IO0, which is pin 10. And you look at here, pin 10 is brown. So brown goes to TDI, which is pin 3 here. So now let's connect to pin 3. This is the first one is pin 1, and pin 3 is the second pin on the top. Okay, so this Next one will be TDO. Now TDO here is the eighth pin. So if you look at here, the brown, red, 
the eighth pin here is orange. So orange pin here is TDO here, which will connect to TDO here, it's pin 5. So let's go up to pin 5 here. Okay. So next pin is TCK. Now TCK is pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if you count on top to bottom 6, it's the green one. So the green pin is TCK. Okay. So now you can go to TCK and go to pin 9. So if you look at from this angle, pin 9 is here. There is one pin which is TMS, still not connected yet. Okay. So you see here, this, this pin matches here. So TDI, TDO, TCK. So there's TMS missing here. So TMS here is pin 4, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, and you count from top to bottom, this is purple. So the purple one color is TMS. So connect the TMS in here. Okay, so now we have one more pin is TRST, which is 1, 2, 3. So from top to here, one, black, white, and gray. So the gray on three will go to the TRST. Okay, since we are here, let's find the reset pin. So we reset pin will one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five is, is blue. So the blue pin will be reset pin, and we can go to here, which is the 11th pin here. So again, take a look at the color. So people will, some people just cannot understand this diagram, and this diagram is in the software. So I'm going to show this in software, okay? So the color here will be uh, gray, which is TRST, and brown. Brown is for the TDI, and orange and TDO, purple, TMS, green, TRST, and the blue is for reset. And don't forget the re ground pin, which is pin 2, and you can connect it any of the pin. This is a JTAG for the edge router. So first we need to go to configure and type uh, EX E. So let's go to the router and see if we have it. Okay, ERX. And we are using the Ulink. Now power on the router and type on the program and enter the trap on mode. So let's read this first to see if we can read it. Looks like we can and verify it if we do get the proper readout. You do, so now we can make it entire backup. This video is just for demonstration purpose. We do not have a good firmware to write to it and uh, I'm hoping someone can either put open WRT or whatever uh, program on it to do some further testing. So for me, it's only limited. I have written the software to accomplish the JTAG on this device because there are four devices in the JTAG chain, or sorry, five of them. It's a dual core, each core has two JTAG devices in it and there's one additional JTAG device controlling these two. So in order to access the proper core to read the flash, we need to bypass the rest of it and only send the command to the proper core to, to access it. So I'm going to pause here and wait for the it's finish. Three minutes and 31 seconds to read it. And why it takes that long? Okay, let's do a calculation here. Uh, this is a JTAG reading, which is using the serial, port, uh, serial protocol. So let's see the size of the flash is hex 1080000, which is 2 gigabit. 
and if you translate to decimal is 276 kilo or megabyte so which is this is megabyte and divide by the speed of 160 96 so divide by 196 so it will need 1412 seconds which divide by 6 seconds it's 23 minutes okay that's matches it okay so this is how backup does and probably the best option will be read individual tabs which this one will be blank and normally you don't need which is a big chunk again well we forgot to detect the flash and here we can detect this flash is two gig bit so i hope someone with this tool can develop some better software for this router this router is very very powerful and very hot on on ebay as well so if we have like uh, open wrt or whatever on it will be very powerful